10,000 years ago, when humankind stopped being uh, nomadic and hunter-gatherers and started to, to uh, be agricultural, they basically set the scene for the problems that we're having today. And if you think about the vegetation on the planet, most of it is perennial. But what our forefathers and mothers and relatives did was they chose annuals. And we're now suffering the consequence of annuals being our major cropping um, or grain crops around the world in all of the continents. And it started off because of that initial decision that was made. And so in making that selection, it's easy to do. I mean, you, you grow a crop, it's there for, uh, for a few months, you find a really good, uh, strong plant, you take the seeds or the fruit or whatever it is from that, and you say, well, this is going to be my seed uh, source for next season. So you can understand how the ease of selection because of the short growing season allowed or, or, or caused um, our, our, our our uh, forefathers to, to make these decisions. However, in doing that, annual cropping requires land to be tilled. Uh, it causes a lot of water to need to be used. It causes um, um, soil breakdown because of shallow rooted growth. And the annuals that we're growing are basically the same sort of root systems as weeds those things we call weeds. And we'll talk about what weeds are tomorrow um, because um, there's, a, there's a particularly nice little anecdote that I like to tell from uh, David Brewer, whom many of you will probably know, down in uh, South Australia. And so what was happening then as we established this annual, uh, these annual cropping methods, then so we then narrowed down the gene pool we were selecting for particular seeds. We were selecting for particular um, um, growth patterns or, 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 or flavor uh, relationships. But we were narrowing down the gene pool. And we've continued to do that historically. And certainly today, it's becoming a real problem uh, in that uh, there are certain companies who have got hold of uh, the seed banks. And um, that's a whole other story too. And so what is happening, once you start to narrow down the, the gene pool, then you're starting to increase the chance of resistance and you're starting to increase the ability for diseases to become a problem. And that's exactly what's happened. That's what we're dealing with today. But the decisions that were made all of those, those um, years ago was in effect the beginning of what we're dealing with today.